I'm here today with Olga Splikalova and her, that's her maiden name, and married name Espinosa. And Olga is a two-time Olympian for the Czech Republic and swam the 400 freestyle and 800 freestyle, who also swam at the University of Minnesota here, the Gophers, and who's also the head coach of St. Croix Swim Club. Olga, how are you doing tonight? Good, thank you, Trina. Big fan of Swim Swam, by the way. Oh, good, good. And uh, obviously tonight, yeah, it was so much fun to watch one of your swimmers, Michaela Hinkle, have fabulous swim in the 100 backstroke, swimming right next to uh, uh, Missy Franklin. Yeah, that was, we were both really excited about that. Obviously, qualifying in the morning second, that was a big swim. She went the best time, 54-10. And then, you know, super excited for the final swim, and she went 53-55. And obviously, Missy is such a great role model for her and always been a big, um, just kind of big hero, especially after this Olympics for her. So for Michaela for, to step it up and, and be able to race next to her was really great. Oh yeah, it was a great swim. Same, we found out last week that she made the national select camp. Wonderful. So we are heading to Colorado Springs in January and really excited about that as well. Yes, now I know you have a unique ability to be able to create unique training programs because of pool time. Can you share for young coaches out there who also might have a small uh, pool or time issues to get in the pool? I, I think for us, you know, we've always been struggling with pool time. Just trying to make it work. I have a really good staff, so we're trying to be creative. We mix up water to dry land a little bit. Um, some nights we have nine to ten swimmers in the lane, but I think to be competitive for me, big thing is education and having some great role models from older coaches that are willing to share ideas, especially for the female coaches. I think it's really important and it's been helping me a lot. So it's not like you've been coaching there for about 10 years, is that correct? I started in 2000. 2012 years. Right. And so obviously it's been really fun to see um, Minnesota swimming take another whole, whole level with a lot of people showing up at the national scene. Can you comment on that? You know, it, for me it's been really fun. Me, like you said, previous gopher swimmer, um, we've been really proud of the Minnesota tradition and now me being, being able to help the younger swimmers to get to that level. I think the, the commitment is a lot better. We are great with coaches. Uh, and we are lucky with a lot of great parents, so I think that that's a big a foundation for the success. Well, that's great. Do you have any advice for young swimmers or coaches out there? Young swimmers, I think, just kind of take it one step at a time. You know, I know everybody watches Olympians, and that's really exciting. But just kind of focus on your short-term goals and look at the long-term a little bit, and have a lot of support at home and believe in the coaches and for the parents to let the coaches coach and. And, you know, be just loving in the stands. I think that's been a big, big goal for our club, and I think we've been doing a great job. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, Olga. Thank you.